Hello, you're watching the Auto Advisor channel. Ever wondered how common rail injectors work in modern diesel engines? Well, these crucial components are responsible for injecting diesel fuel into the combustion chambers each cycle. They come in two types, electromagnetic and piezoelectric, and you could say the latter is akin to a Ferrari in terms of both speed and cost of replacement. These injectors play an essential role in the operation of your engine, and their function is as fascinating as it is complex. So let's dive into the world of these fascinating components. First off, we have the electromagnetic injectors, but what exactly are they? Well, these are a type of injector used in modern diesel engines with a common rail injection system. They are precisely engineered devices designed to make sure that diesel fuel is efficiently and effectively delivered into the combustion chambers of the engine. In the body of an electromagnetic injector, you'll find three main components. First, there's a solenoid, which is basically a type of coil that generates a magnetic field when an electric current is passed through it. Second, we have the valve multiplier, a device that multiplies the force applied to it. And third, there's a plunger, which acts on a needle located in the atomizer body of the injector. These injectors also feature channels for fuel inlet and outlet. The high-pressure channels bring fuel from the fuel ramp to the needle near its contact with the atomizer and into the cavity above the plunger. Now, under pressure, the plunger presses the needle to the seat. Here's where the magic happens. When the solenoid rises and opens the valve multiplier at just the right moment, a connection is made between the cavity above the plunger and the drain channel cavity. This results in a differential pressure, low over the plug, high around the needle, that raises the needle, and voila, fuel is injected into the cylinder. But the job of the solenoid isn't over yet. It then returns to its previous position, the valve closes, and the pressure above the plug is restored. Almost immediately, the atomizer is closed by the needle. This sequence of events ensures that the right amount of diesel fuel is injected into the combustion chambers during each cycle. So, the electromagnetic injector isn't just a piece of metal. It's a marvel of engineering precision, designed to perform a vital function in the operation of diesel engines. With its solenoid, valve multiplier and plunger, it ensures that the right quantity of fuel is delivered into the engine cylinders at the right time, every time. That's the electromagnetic injector for you, a marvel of engineering precision. Now let's turn our attention to the other type of injector, the piezoelectric injector. These high-tech components are truly the Ferraris of the injector world, boasting unrivaled speed and precision. However, just like a high-performance sports car, piezoelectric injectors come with their own unique set of features and considerations. At the heart of a, this type of injector is a small device called a piezo element. When current is applied to this element, it changes its geometry in a fraction of a millisecond. This super-fast reaction time allows the injector to carry out a fuel injection cycle in several stages, while maintaining an ultra-precise dosage of fuel. One of the key components in this process is the hydrocompensator, which acts as a go-between for the piezo element and the valve multiplier. The hydrocompensator ensures that the rapid changes in the piezo element translate into precise movements in the injector, allowing for highly accurate fuel dosing. The piezoelectric injector follows a three-stage injection cycle. The first stage, pre-injection, involves injecting a small amount of fuel, up to two milliliters, to warm up and prepare the air in the cylinder for the main injection. This also helps to equalize the pressure inside the combustion chamber. The second stage is the main injection, where the bulk of the fuel is delivered. Finally, there's the final injection, which ensures complete combustion of the fuel-air mixture and kickstarts the regeneration process of the diesel particulate filter. What sets piezoelectric injectors apart is their ability to further divide each of these three stages. By injecting fuel several times in rapid succession, they can achieve a level of smoothness in engine operation that rivals that of a gasoline engine. But the real standout feature of these injectors is their speed. They can open the valve several times faster than an electromagnetic injector, 
enabling them to inject fuel into the cylinder up to nine times per engine cycle. This speed, combined with their precision, allows for optimal fuel combustion, leading to improved engine performance and fuel economy. However, just like a Ferrari, piezoelectric injectors come with a high price tag. They are not subject to restoration or repair, which means when they fail, they need to be replaced. But for those seeking the ultimate in injector technology, the benefits of piezoelectric injectors are well worth the investment. These injectors, with their incredible speed and precision, truly take injector technology to the next level. Before we dive into a comparison, let's first understand the common issues that can occur with solenoid injectors, which we discussed earlier. Like any mechanical part, solenoid injectors are not immune to wear and tear, and their performance can be negatively affected by poor quality fuel and water contamination. One of the common issues is wear of the seat for the multiplier valve ball. If the valve does not close tightly, fuel can leak back through the drain line, causing the engine to stall under load when it gets hot. Another problem arises when there is insufficient pressure under the plunger causing fuel to leak out through the atomizer. This can result in either too little or too much fuel flowing into the cylinders, leading to an over-enriched or depleted fuel-air mixture. This can cause the engine to throttle, or you might notice white smoke from the exhaust pipe when the engine is idling. A further typical failure of solenoid injectors is when the needle pressure spring loses its rigidity. This can significantly affect the injector's ability to maintain the correct fuel pressure, leading to inconsistent engine performance. Corrosion can also cause the multiplier valve to jam, impacting the smooth operation of the injector. Additionally, Failure of the solenoid, which opens the valve on the exhaust, can also adversely affect the engine's performance. In summary, even a minor malfunction in a solenoid injector can disrupt the normal operation of the entire diesel engine. Symptoms to look out for include the engine stalling under load, white smoke from the exhaust pipe, an unsteady engine at idle speeds, trotting of the engine, and fluctuating revs. This highlights the critical role of injectors in maintaining optimal engine performance. Now that we've covered the issues with solenoid injectors, let's move on to their piezoelectric counterparts. Like solenoid injectors, piezoelectric ones can also suffer from wear and tear, and their performance can be negatively affected by poor quality fuel and water contamination. However, due to their complex control elements, they can also experience additional breakdowns such as a short circuit to the mass of the piezo element. If this happens, the engine may refuse to start altogether. Another distinct issue with these type of injectors is the malfunction of the needle sprayer pair. If a lot of fuel is drained due to this malfunction, the smoke from the exhaust pipe will not be white, as with solenoid injectors, but black and abundant, indicating a rich mixture. If the piezo element itself fails, the diesel engine will throttle and lose power, meaning it will cease to reach normal speeds. As with solenoid injectors, even a minor malfunction in a piezoelectric injector can disrupt the normal operation of the entire diesel engine. Symptoms to look out for include black smoke from the exhaust pipe, an unsteady engine at idle speeds, trotting of the engine, and fluctuating revs. This once again emphasizes the critical role of piezoelectric injectors in maintaining optimal engine performance. Before we proceed to our comparison and summary, let's take a detour and discuss how these injectors are diagnosed and repaired. If you suspect that the unstable operation of your engine is due to faulty injectors, your first step should be to get a computerized diagnosis. This process will identify errors in the performance of your injectors, once errors are flagged, all injectors are removed from the engine and sent for diagnostics on a specialized stand. This bench diagnostics will reveal if the injectors are leaking fuel back into the drain line and if so, at what pressure. The next step involves testing the injectors on equipment that simulates engine operation with the participation of the fuel injector and fuel pipes. Electronic sensors will measure all the parameters of each injector in turn providing a direction for diagnosing the root cause of the problem. After these checks, the injectors are placed in an ultrasonic bath and cleaned of carbon deposits and other impurities. This is an important step in maintaining the longevity and performance of your injectors. 
Finally, each injector is inspected on the stand. This meticulous examination involves carefully disassembling all the smallest elements of the injector, which is only possible with electromagnetic injectors, and examining them under a microscope. This approach is beneficial, as most manufacturers produce all the necessary spare parts for repair and restoration of the injector. Once a problem is identified, such as a non-functioning atomizer of the injector, it can be replaced with a new one, restoring the element's functionality in a cost-effective manner. Keep in mind that piezoelectric injectors, due to their complex and delicate design, are not restorable or repairable like their electromagnetic counterparts. If a piezoelectric injector fails, it needs to be replaced entirely, which can be a costly affair. Understanding the diagnostic and repair process can help you maintain optimal performance of your diesel engine and potentially save on costly repairs in the future. After understanding the diagnostic and repair process for injectors, let's dive deeper into the final stages of this process, the adjustment and assembly of the injector. This is arguably the most crucial stage as it ensures the injector's functionality is restored to its peak performance. Once all the necessary elements of the injectors have been replaced, the technician begins the meticulous task of reassembling the injector. Each assembled part is measured with an indicator, and if the size doesn't correspond to the required range, the part is disassembled again and adjusted with a washer or a locking ring. This painstaking process is repeated until the injector is completely assembled. It's important to note that the upper and lower parts of the injector must be tightened with the maximum regulated tightening torque using a torque wrench. This step is critical to ensuring the injector operates without any leaks or malfunctions. Once the injector is fully assembled, it's sent back to the diagnostic bench for a final round of tests. These tests are conducted in all operating modes to ensure that the injector is functioning correctly after the repair and adjustment process. Understanding this process can give you a greater appreciation for the complexity and precision involved in maintaining the performance of your diesel engine's injectors. In our quest to understand diesel fuel injectors, it's crucial to address how to prolong their lifespan. This is not only a matter of choosing the best fuel available and preventing moisture from entering the fuel system, but also reacting timely to emerging faults. The longer you wait, the more severe and expensive the repair becomes, especially concerning injectors. So, how do we know when something is amiss? There are several signs that you might need to pay a visit to the service center. These include an illuminated check engine indicator, difficulty starting an unstable operation when cold black smoke clouds from the exhaust pipe, an unusual engine sound, engine stalling when hot, unstable engine operation, and fluctuating revolutions. In these cases, you might suspect incorrect operation of injectors which could deteriorate from water, poor fuel quality, and time. However, problems with fuel supply to the cylinders can also cause failure of high-pressure fuel pump elements or wear of the booster pump and its gears. In such cases, fine abrasives, metal chips, and dust can infiltrate the injector. Therefore, if you notice interruptions in the fuel system, it's recommended to check the entire fuel system. In conclusion, taking care of your diesel engine and its components is a combination of proactive measures, timely response to issues, and regular maintenance. Remember, the diesel engine, with its excellent traction and low consumption, combined with expensive fuel equipment and inexpensive maintenance, is a significant investment, and it's in your best interest to keep it running smoothly.